Good morning guys, Harry here from TechPlanet30.com, thanks very much for joining us. Um, just wanted to say, first of all, the introduction to this video is a work in progress, okay? I'm just trying out different ideas and maybe get some feedback from you guys what you think of the introduction. Uh, I've got a couple of other different types of introductions that I want to play about with, that type of thing. But um, So don't be too critical or don't be too harsh on me guys, don't, you know, I, I know it's not great or anything like that but it's just a, a starter anyway uh, what I want to talk about this morning is Call of Duty Black Ops went on sale midnight last night here in the UK certain stores uh, across the country from ATMV and game opened at midnight the game went on store Call of Duty Black Ops went on uh, sale and there was obviously you know just like the Apple stores there was queues outside the stores that type of thing uh, lots of people waiting for the eagerly anticipated Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, I wasn't there personally, but uh, one of my neighbours was there at the uh, the launch in Newcastle. And I was talking to him this morning, and there was a lot, and there was a, a, a little bit of a debate going on on the radio this morning also, with regards to a particular topic. Now, I want to get you guys to leave some feedback and, and let me know what you think of this. A lot of games have now, in this day and age, have got certificate ratings on them. Like the, the Call of Duty Black Ops game has got a certificate 18. Um, <clears throat> now my son Jude wants the game. But as it stands at the minute, Victoria and I, we're, we're not going to get it for him. Because it's a certificate 18 and he is an 8 year old little boy. And there's part of me thinks, you know, you're being a prick and being a prick dad and I should just go out and buy it for him. It's just a game. He's a he's a well-rounded little boy, very, very intelligent. Uh, he knows the difference between right and wrong. He knows that what he's playing on the computer is... He knows that any games that he's playing are games. That's what they are. They have no relevance whatsoever to reality. Um... And I'm just, you know, but then the other side of me is, you know, at the end of the day, there's a certificate rating on it. We have friends and family currently out in Afghanistan uh, risking their lives. And I made a video about this type of thing uh, not so long ago. Uh, and so I'm completely split down the middle as to what to do. As to whether to go and get in the game or stick by our guns and leave it for a little bit. So, that's what I want to put out to you guys this morning. What do you think of, first of all, what do you think of the ratings surrounding games currently on the market? Not just necessarily Call of Duty Black Ops, but all the different games that have got ratings on them. Do you think that it's wrong that society think our children, our, our gaming generation, not just children but adults as well, are going to try and reenact what they play. See I think that's, per, me personally I think it's ridiculous. I, I don't necessarily think that what children or teenagers are seeing on a computer screen or games console screen or even television programs, I don't necessarily think that people uh, try to reenact things from those or actually think that they are part of reality. I think it's a sad state of affairs that we live in when people cannot differentiate between a game and what happens out in the street in real life. So it's a really it's a really controversial subject, I know that, and um, like I say, I do feel like a prick for not going out and buying it for him. Uh, there's not many things that I don't buy for my son. Uh, I do spoil the kids. It's actually one of the things that I get criticised an awful lot for by by my family mainly and friends of ours and even parents down at the school say I spoil my kids far too much. Not just in necessarily in buying things, but um, you know I very rarely shout at the kids. Mind you, I very rarely need to shout at them, and. Um, that type of thing. So I feel really bad about not buying him this game because he really, really wants it. And it looks like a good game. And to be honest with you, I want it as well. But there's no way I can go out and buy it 
have it sat in the house and say to him, no, you can't play that game. And then when he goes to bed on an evening or something to get there, me sit downstairs and play. I just, I just couldn't do that. And so because of this ruling and this, the, the way Vicky and I are looking at this, at the minute, <coughs> I can't play it either. So what do you guys think? Let me know. Leave your comments down below or make a video response. Um, or you can send a response to me on Twitter at um, iHarrison30. Or go across to TechFinder30. I've written a blog about it across there as well. So thanks very much guys for all your support, all your time, uh, all the kind comments that I get from you guys and thank you also for all the subscribers that I'm getting, uh, the, the traffic that I'm getting over at techplanet30.com as well, it's phenomenal. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough, I, I wish that there was more that I could do to thank you but unfortunately at this present time and moment in terms of giveaways, that type of thing, um, I, I just can't, I just can't do that at the minute because it's coming up to Christmas and we have the kids and stuff like that to sort out for Christmas. Hopefully after Christmas, I'll be back on track in terms of giveaways and being able to show you guys how much I really do appreciate all the support that you give us. So thanks very much, guys. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video or the next blog over at techplanet30.com. Cheers, guys. Bye.